Am I dead? This guy is none other than Elon Musk. Hey Patrick, what am I now? Uh, stupid? No, I'm... What's the difference? <laughs> Listen, I'm sure you're all familiar with our solar system. Jupiter, Mars, Earth, Saturn, and all that. Are you stupid and don't know what an exoplanet is? It's a planet that is outside of our solar system. And these things can be pretty crazy. Hey Vsauce, Barrow here. And today we're looking at some crazy exoplanets deep in outer space. Let's start off somewhere that is great for a holiday vacation. Just look at how beautiful it is. It even has a beautiful name. HD 189... 733B. So why wouldn't you want to live on such a gorgeous planet? Well, you'd probably get torn to shreds within 1.2 milliseconds. Not only is the wind 5,400 miles per hour, but can you guess what rains on this planet? I'll give you a few seconds. It rains glass. And if you thought that was bad, combine rain and glass with 5,400 miles per hour winds, and you have a planet that is raining glass sideways. So just imagine a Gatling gun of shredded glass being fired directly at you. And then imagine that, but 10 times worse. Alright, next one here we have is Gliese 1214b. This is a very spooky planet. All right, let me. All right, let me. Let me put you in the situation here. All right, imagine yourself on the planet. All right, imagine yourself. Imagine you wake up in the middle of the African savanna. Imagine you wake up in the middle of the ocean, but you can't see any land for miles. Literally nothing. You look below you and you can't see anything. Literally just dark ocean. You assume you are deep in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. This isn't good. You swim for miles. Absolutely no land. You swim for three days straight. Literally no land. Little do you know, you aren't on Earth anymore. You're on Gliese 1214b, an alien planet that is made up of nothing but ocean. Before you ask, yes, it is pretty much like Subnautica. But a very boring version of Subnautica. Well, Subnautica has aliens and cool ecosystems and biomes and stuff. This planet has literally nothing. Just water for thousands of miles down until you hit the core. Okay, this next one is really weird. First, look at these names. The exoplanet A2126-8140 orbits around the red dwarf star TYC9486-9271. Alright, listen, guys at NASA or whatever, I know you name them like this so you can find them later or catalog them easier, but these names... Sound more like phone numbers. Please. Stop! Anyway, this planet has an insanely wide orbit. So far away from the star, it takes a million years to complete its orbit around the star. I'm not even trying to be funny. It literally takes a million years. Look it up on Wikipedia. Alright, that's the widest orbit, but what about the shortest orbit? A planet known as PSRJ-1438 is so close to its star that it completes its full orbit every two hours. To put that in perspective, we complete our orbit every 365 days. In that time, Mr. Speedy Gonzalez over here has completed his orbit 4,080 times. Up next, we have the richest planet in town. Or should I say the uh, entire universe. Now this planet, 55 Cancri E, is possibly made up almost entirely of diamonds. Now this sounds pretty cool, but it's pretty much completely useless, because one, the planet's so far away that we won't be able to get anyone goes on the surface, will probably die, even with a protective suit or whatever. Three, if you only brought back one hundredth of the diamonds of the planet, you would crash the entire di diamonds as blades of grass. Or as valuable as your life, you useless piece of blades of grass. There's trillions of other planets to talk about. But here's the best one. Earth. You know why Earth is the best planet? Because it has us, humans. Okay, you don't like humans? Then how about this? Or this? Or this? 
I mean, how could you not like a planet with all this cool stuff? I, like, I don't get it. It's, it's so cool. It's cooler than a cucumber, honestly. Look at this thread. So he posted a picture of Mars, and he's like, Come on guys, let's explore planets. This guy is none other than Elon Musk. And he is spreading his propaganda because he knows that, to be honest, nobody cares about going to Mars. So, Elon Musk, you're getting roasted, bitch. Yo. Yo. Yo, Elon Musk, you wanna go to Mars? Well, first you gotta sit down and listen to my bars. Elon Musk, you're such a busk. And you're so ugly like Ugly Betty. You probably don't even eat spaghetti. And your family hates you. Cause you suck and you made a dead thread. Let's update this thread. Wow, no post? I'm not surprised. Nobody is gonna post. You're only... Fuck you, Elon Musk. Alright guys, I'm so, 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 Sorry for not posting any videos. In the last video I posted, I was boasting about how I had 3,000 subscribers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Followed my heart into the fire. God burned, got broken down by. <coughs> now I have 9,000. But seriously, I can explain why I haven't posted. Fortnite. Fortnite has consumed the last remaining morsels of my dark, bitter soul, and I sincerely apologize.